When people think about frozen seafood, they would think that it's not as fresh as live or fresh seafood. They like to poke and see like, whether the fish is fresh or not. But frozen seafood sometimes can be even fresher than fresh seafood because it's actually frozen when it's firstly caught, preserving it at the best quality. Wherever I visit the supermarket with my wife, sometimes I will look at her and say, But most of the time she will just buy. Yeah, I will still eat anyways. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kuo Pei, second generation from Hong Seafood. We supply frozen seafood to restaurants like Crystal Jade and Paradise Group, and hotels like uh, Ritz Carlton, Shangri La, Region, Google Park, and Regis. Four Seasons. Yeah, practically we supply to most of the five star hotels in Singapore that you can think of. My father started in 1986 with one chest freezer selling frozen seafood to hawkers and restaurants. Growing up, mainly we eat seafood that my dad couldn't self finish. But nowadays, we usually try to eat the best seafood that we, we, we source ourselves. We supply all types of frozen seafood. We get our salmon from Norway and Chile. Dory is mainly from Vietnam. We get our prawns practically from everywhere. And my codfish is caught in Antarctica. What we usually do is that we will do the gutting, the filleting. After that, depending on customer requirements, sometimes we will portion it, freeze it down, pack it, and deliver it to our customer. We are SME, so everyone has to help out sometimes. You are pretty good at doing all the descaling. Not as good as my colleagues. Yeah, I'll probably slow down the whole process for everyone. Like, I'm the bottleneck in the whole process. When COVID-19 happened, we were affected quite significantly. For the B2B business, there was no dine-in, no tourists that's coming in, no corporate events or banquets. So uh, definitely the sales was affected. So uh, it was a challenge because business was down, but at the same time, we have to keep enough stock in case there was a disruption in the supply chain. But thankfully, we have our international business, which helps a lot. If one country is locked down, we can actually source the same type of seafood from another country. So our supply chain is actually quite robust. And because we are always supplying seafood to many, many countries, our revenue stream is actually quite diversified. During the drop in sales in the B2B business, during the circuit breaker, we decided to start FoodExplorer.sg, an online e-commerce platform for us to sell our seafood to the B2C customers. People are getting used to ordering their groceries online, so we see that there's a potential for us to actually sell to the consumer directly. To cater to the B2C business, we have to actually make retail packaging, which means that the size is smaller, the portion is smaller. Sometimes we get very special requests. For example, it's for a birthday gift. Can you help me to wrap up this, this seafood? You know, it's like birthday wrapper. Why would you buy frozen seafood as a birthday gift? But yeah, some people do. So Simon is logistically very challenging for us to meet their requirements. But fortunately, Enterprise Singapore helps us with implementing a new warehouse management system that makes our whole operations more efficient. For my staff to be able to handle B2C customers is definitely a challenge. So we took the opportunity to actually upskill and train our staff towards customer service. Some customers actually ask for cooking tips because they are not used to handling seafood at home. We have restaurant customers. Sometimes we will go to the chef and say, can you give some tips on how to prepare this seafood that you use or so? But it still depends on how you cook, right? <laughs> it's very important. I think it's very heartening to see that the business has grown so much. To be able to have the skill that we have today, I don't think my dad has ever imagined it's possible 30 years ago. When COVID-19 first started, I think no one expected the pandemic to be so severe, but we have to accept the fact that things are not the same. We need to change because the world is changing. If we can actually build a business from scratch, you know, this is a crisis that we can overcome. <laughs>